Hi, my name is Rich Perry and I'm going to be doing an unboxing of Sphero's new robot, Bolt. Bolt is Sphero's newest and most advanced robot to date. These are great robots for in the classroom. I currently have a pack of Sphero Spark Pluses that I use and about a dozen Sphero 2.0s that I also use with my class as well as their Ollies. So I'm really excited to unbox this particular robot and see what these new machines can do and what our students can use them for. So let's start by opening up the package, which has already been a little compromised in the mail. But, okay, not too bad. All right, and as we open it up, we see, well, first we see to get rid of the box, we see the first image, full image, of the bolt right on the package. Now, the bolt looks a lot like the older Sphero model, but you notice the shell is completely, completely clear, and there is that LED matrix in there that you can program to project small images and sort of 8-bit graphics. Um, the packaging on the Sphero devices are always really something else to see. Um, they put together such a, a solid package with this. Um, and let's see what's in the box from here, and I almost hate taking the whole thing apart. Um, you know, once again we see the Bolt logo. And from there, how does this open? Okay, here we go. All right, and this will be the first look at the Bolt robot itself. Oh, no, it won't, because there is a little more packaging on top of it. And this packaging has our start manual and how to get going with the robot. Ooh, also has some new stickers. I'm a big fan of any stickers that come with these devices. A bolt clock comes with this as well, as long as heading and direction finder. I've been using these with the Spark Plus power pack and they're really useful, so I'm very glad that Sphero included those. Um, and again, the stickers for, you know, laptop or anything else. Now, the first thing I'll pull out is the charger. Now. It looks very similar to the charger for the 2.0 and also the one for the Spark Plus, but um, it actually feels a little bit lighter. Uh, specs look pretty much the same, although I understand this does give more power. Um, this is 5 volt, 500 milliamps, and what is this one? This is 12 volt and it's 300 milliamps. So this one's definitely providing this new robot with more power. So there is the charging. And the Sphero robots generally charge through induction. Um, and here is the bolt itself. Has the Sphero logo right there on the front of the robot. And you can actually see the charging coil down here. And what I'm really excited about is you can see the LED matrix as well right here. Now this also has infrared sensors on it and from what I understand it also has the ability to pick up uh, light reading so it, it can judge uh, how much light is coming towards it and then the uh, matrix can actually light up accordingly. Um, and I think that'll be really an exciting thing to play around with with the students as well especially with the way I use it in my class. Um, the bolt sits just as the other Spheros have always sat right in the charger. And the bolt also comes with a USB connector for the charger. Let's see. And, and again, you know, the packaging on this is always so well done. You can package these right back up if you have to travel with them. And I do appreciate that. Is there anything else under? Nope. That is the entire piece. Um, now, let's just go through a couple of other things. We have the legal guide, which I will put aside and check out later. We also have the getting started guide, which if you look, it says first you have to charge it, then you need to get the app, then connect, and then you can actually use the app to drive this. So at this point, um, this has been the Sphero Bolt. And again, you do get all of this within the package and uh, Bolt does look very similar the older Spheros, um, but really the tech that's packed into this one is far more advanced than what was in the older Spheros. So I'm really excited, I'm gonna get this charged up, and the next video is going to be trying out the Sphero Bolt around the house, and then 
maybe next week trying it out in the classroom. So thank you and keep an eye out for the next video. And if you found this video interesting, please subscribe below.